Hope you enjoy it. Get on with it. And in the end, we have a nice little surprise. So stay tuned. Well, this is where I was going to fish. Absolutely flying through. The river has actually burst its banks. I'm not even sure if my lead will hold the bottom because I'm only using a, a light Avon rod. But why not? I'm here now. Just been told I'm completely wasting my time. Devastated. I've just lost a really nice fish. Total and utter waste of time, you said. Clearly it wasn't. The following day I popped down for an hour and managed to catch a barbel. The day after that, the water had dropped down by another couple of feet and uh, where there was previously water, I was now able to stand. Meeting up with my friend um, John, I'm hoping you'll be able to fish this spot um, and say that it's uh, suitable because he's a wheelchair user. He needs to make sure he's not going to slide in. It's about eight or nine foot deep right off the edge there. But while I'm uh, waiting, I think I'll chuck out this mouldy piece of meat. You've got more chance of catching one of these stocked barbel than you have catching one of the wild chub. It's great fun, but it doesn't sit too well with me. So that tiny pluck that you saw was a bite. That was it. Gone. A nice big thick bit of um, grass root. There's so many little bits of plastic that the tackle trade sell us. Of course it all ends out to sea, doesn't it? So that's 4-0 to the fish. That's four tiny little plucks that have removed a great big piece of meat like that. Hiya. I've had five bites and I've missed every single one of them. Charlie, where have you been asleep? Yeah, a little bit. I think they're wisening up. That's all right. It's normally the other way around, isn't it? Maybe I should fish banded pellet. Tell you what I done, look. I put it on there, and I'm putting the hook through as well. So, oh yeah, it's on the hair rig. I'm putting it through. The hook as well. That works, does it? It proved to be a really frustrating afternoon at the end, so I left John to it and picked somewhere a bit more tranquil to no avail and fished through till dusk where John did actually hook something but lost it unfortunately. The following day I have an unexpected visit from my brother, down on his luck and out of sorts, so what better excuse to head back down to the river and I put him onto a spot on the opposite side of the bank that I think might work. That spot that we fished in yesterday is really popular. I wanted to go old school today, so I've got a centre pin set up. That time of year where float fishing almost becomes ruled out from the amount of leaves coming down through the river. No, I've never in the years fished on this river. Oh really? Never. That was a barbel, wasn't it? 100%. The power, the power behind that, I mean, it was a tour of the trail, so that's high. Thank you very much. <laughs> I hope you find a load of fish. I feel lucky now. <laughs> yeah, you're better. Yeah, I do. Lucky charm. You actually best is. lucky catching one as well. Thank you very much. Alright. I love fish. Do you feel luckier now, Will?
Seven or eight ounces, isn't it? And it's been getting fat and all those pellets that have been going in. Isn't that crazy? That probably accounts for what all those bites were yesterday. You snagged? Was it? Something like a trout. It's taking you into a snag. You have to give it some slack or you'll lose it. Well, you've lost it already. Or um, it will come out. Does it feel like it's still on there? No, I thought it was going dong 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 dong. Did it actually make that noise? Dong dong dong. Yeah, it did take it out. Lucky. Yeah. I think it could be perched or a trout. There's some big ones in here. Stuffing that rim to slow the float down. The surface moves a lot faster than the bottom. Well done. Do you think the fish were sick of meat? Yeah, we never. What would you think it might be? Yeah, I think it is as well. You normally just with the chub, you get a couple of strong lunges and then that's it. Be, be careful. Yeah, there you go. Let's do it in that, that last, that first one, this is much, much bigger than that. <laughs> Wicked. In the back of the nose. Uh, the lobworm, eh? Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Cool. Is it a barbed hook? Um, no, he's just taking it out there. It's a barbed hook if ever I've seen one. Well done. Thank you very much, Charlie. Good well going in. <laughs> well done. You're on the hot spot there, I reckon. Uh, oh, I had three. Two bites prior to that, like, like before I had that one. Did you? Yeah, mm. rob worms. I think you're right, I think a lot of pellets and stuff have been thrown in. Yeah. They're quite a bit bored of it. Yeah, wary of meat. Maybe. Meat wariness. Sorry? That's crazy. It seems these dace have taken a liking to luncheon meat. Yeah, another little dace. What have you got? Oh, oh lovely. I don't see many of those in here. That was a strap pegging, just laying on. It just jumps, jumps, up, jumps out of the water and uh, sort of sailing across the river. Oh. <laughs> yeah, That's I mean, a lovely fish. Really That's colors. a good fish. Colours are incredible. Wow, that's um, yeah, what do you reckon he weighs about? He's easily two pound plus, isn't he? Yeah, I often wonder whether it's the same fish. I saw someone else catch a similar fish to that, size fish to that. Mm. But that's a cracker, isn't it? Can I just put that in for scale? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I'll get a picture of you holding it actually. Uh, Good, you're not going to make your spin come up. Well, I'll try to make it still really lively. Now move your hand out, right? What happens? Oh, it can no longer get an erection. It's an old fish. It, it doesn't get old. It's yeah. Really nice, really nice to see though. Well done. Yeah, well done. I'm really, really pleased for him. Really pleased for him. I've scored several now. So I've moved to a different spot, tucked away. Uh, it's going to be pretty tight because of the tree canopy, but hopefully uh, it gets less footfall. And if you listen carefully, ignoring the aeroplanes and sirens and dogs and kids screaming and cars, there is a little outfall. So uh, it's a nice little feature to fish to. Just 
hoping that Will would catch a fish. And once he's done that, I suddenly think, well, I want to catch a fish. I've left it. Right, I'm not accepting defeat. I can't have my brother beating me with a big perch and a barbell against two dace. A chub wins it, basically. Uh, I'm jammy <laughs> again. It's got to be a barbell. It is a trout. That is a trout. Is really? Big brownie. Yeah. No. It is, yeah. That is mental. Well done. That was on the lobworm, was it? Yeah. Let's have a look at you then. Look at that. Is that a wild brownie? I have that is a wild brownie. No it's got idea. red spots. Where's that unhooking mat? Uh, oh, there, yeah, cheers. I thought this that's a, a wild brownie. That is unbelievable. That's a wild brownie. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. That's not a stock. There's no way that's a stocked fish. Look at that. Fish, yeah. That is a big old fish, and that's definitely a wild fish. Well played. That is probably one of the biggest wild brownies I've ever caught. <laughs> yeah, well played. Yeah. Hold on. Two of them, Mr. Brown. I guess it wasn't that big for me. No, uh, long, for a long time. Oh. Come on, Mike. Come on. That was a uh, a real surprise, wasn't it? It was the last thing you expected to see, see come up. I think you're doing a good job holding him, actually. If I'm honest. He's okay to go. Well played.